Good morning. Today we are going to be creating a papyrus boat, which the ancient Egyptians used to use to go down the Nile River. To start making your boat, you are going to need a few materials. First, you will need a pack of flexible bendy straws. These are going to be the straws that can flex just like that, where we can have a nice bend at one of the ends. And then as well as a roll of duct tape, uh, it doesn't matter what color or what size it is as we will be spray painting and cutting it down to what we need so you will also need a pair of scissors that way we can do some cutting and in addition to the scissors we will also be needing yarn or string uh, in today's lex lesson we're going to use just some trimming fabric that i have left over and you will also need brown spray paint Now to begin this project, you're going to need about 20 of those flexible straws from your pack. And you're going to want to take two straws and make sure that the bendy part is going to be on opposite ends, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pinch one end of the straw and then fold it over to make a really small pinch. And then you're going to insert that into the other straw to create one big straw. And you're going to want to make sure that the bendable parts of the straws are on the outside ends. Once you're done with that first one, you're going to set that aside and you're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the remaining straws. Again, just to show you, we're going to pinch that, fold that over, and then we're going to go ahead and insert that into the second straw to make that one big long straw. And you should have 10 long straws when you're all finished with that, with all of the bendy sides on the outer ends. Once you have your 10 big long straws, you're going to line them up evenly as best as you can. And then we're going to take a piece of duct tape to the middle. Let's go ahead and smooth that on to make sure it sticks to all the straws and then go ahead and flip that over. And it's okay if your duct tape does overlap because we're just going to smooth that down and then roll that over. So now all of your straws are together in one big piece. Once you have that big piece of tape in the middle, we're going to go ahead and bend all of the outer edges into a 45 to 90 degree angle. And once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and take our string or yarn and tie them together as best as we can. It would be really beneficial to ask a classmate or your teacher for help at this part as it's really hard to tie that by yourself. Again, we're just bending all of the outer edges to that 90 degree angle and then taking that piece of string or yarn and tying it off. And as soon as we're done with that, then we're going to go ahead and have two more pieces of duct tape that are cut into smaller portions. And we're going to lay that over where they're bending and press that on and then go ahead and secure that in the back just to give your boat a little more structure. So again, you're just going to move that yarn out of the way, press that on to where it's bending, and then fold it in the back. And then once we are done with that, you're going to go ahead and take your scissors and cut off all that extra yarn or string that we have. And then once we are done doing that, we're going to line up all of the outer edges as best as we can, and we're going to cut them into a straight line just to make it a little more structured. And we're going to go ahead and do that same thing on the back side as well. So we're going to cut those loose strings off and then line up those straws and cut them to size. And once you're done doing that, if you need to, you can re-secure that yarn. Now that we're all done putting together our boat, we're going to go ahead and take our brown spray paint and we're going to spray paint one of the sides, allow that to dry, and then we're going to flip it over and spray paint the second side. Now at this step, uh, a teacher or your, your educator will be helping you out with this to ensure that the spray paint is not a safety hazard and to make sure all of the colored areas are now brown just to really give it that papyrus boat feel. So once again, you're going to spray one whole side, let that dry, and then flip it over and go ahead and do the same to the back side. And then once you are done with that, your papyrus boat is all ready to put into a body of water to watch it float. And just like the ancient Egyptians did, this is also just one of the many ways that they lived and traveled through the Nile River. Now a simple and fun way to show your family about the papyrus boat is by filling your tub with some water and allowing it to float 
and then you can tell your family all about the ancient Egyptians and how they use papyrus boats in their lives.